Hey Forkers, so I did a Mary's Mini Potato Cleanse. How did it go? Come back and find out. So it's been about three and a half weeks since I finished my cleanse. So this is gonna be my part four wrap up video to let you know how it went. If you wanna see the previous editions, uh, there's three parts. The first part is me just setting it up, talking about the process, how I went through it. And then uh, parts two and three are about the first five days and the second five days of how it went. It includes my thoughts, some recipes and ideas. Check those out. Maybe before you watch this, it might make more sense. So what did I get out of this? So here's the thing, I'm not a typical candidate for this kind of thing, because this is meant to be for people who are coming off of like the standard sad American diet where they're eating lots of fast food and lots of crap. I wanted to see how this would affect somebody who already eats a pretty clean and healthy diet. And so what were the things that I got out of it? Well, I kind of found that my snacking has decreased. I am pretty much only eating my three meals a day. And if I start snacking at all, it's probably around four o'clock in the afternoon while I'm getting dinner ready. And that is three to four, that's three hours, four hours after lunch. So it's within the window. They want you to try to not eat for a three to four hour period at a time throughout the day. So I'm just considering that more of an appetizer to dinner when I say I'm not snacking. So that was a really good thing because I was almost planning these like little mini snacks throughout the morning and in the early afternoon. And that is almost completely disappeared. So that was a big plus for me. Because I wasn't allowed to have beans and that kind of stuff, I, I realized that I don't need to add protein to make something feel like a full meal. So that was a really nice added bonus to this. It's kind of opened up more options for me for thinking about lunches and quick dinners and that kind of stuff. So I really, really appreciated that. What about weight loss, you ask? Well, I didn't really lose any weight. My weight's basically the same as it was pre-cleanse. And that's okay, because part of this experiment was, am I at the right weight for the kind of foods I eat in my body type and all that kind of stuff. So that stayed the same, and maybe that's okay. That said, at the end of this video, I'm gonna explain another thing I'm gonna try, just because I'm still a little bit curious about that. Personally, I think I didn't keep it simple enough. I'm a bit too much of a food nerd, and I like to experiment with different kind of food challenges. So I, I took it as an opportunity to play around with some recipes, as you can see. I discovered some great stuff, making crispy french fries. Those are now like a staple in our house. So there's some fun stuff I discovered along the way, but I should have kept it more simple and maybe that would have resulted in some weight loss because I probably wouldn't have eaten as much. So here's some tips for people who are thinking of doing one of these cleanses for yourself. Keep it simple, honestly, just Eat the bare minimum. Eat like just plain potatoes, a couple vegetables, very basic condiments. Don't go crazy with it. If you want to do the full thing what you're supposed to be doing, don't go fancy with the recipes. Batch cooking is your friend. If you're gonna bake potatoes, they take about almost an hour to do. So I would do six to a dozen of those things at a time because they're really easy to reheat once you've done them. Batch cooking vegetables isn't a bad idea either, although those are a little bit quicker to prepare. Frozen vegetables are great. They're really easy. You can steam them really quickly or put them in the microwave. They're a quick, fast treat to get. I overheated a few times. Like I'd have a hot bath in the morning and I found because of probably the lack of proteins and maybe some fats in my diet, I think I got overheated and got a little dizzy and fainty. So I would recommend not overheating while you're on this thing. Let people know you're doing this, your family in particular, so they can support you, or at least know you're doing something a little crazy and strange and not get in your way. Also, there's great Facebook communities out there where there's other people doing this. You want people that are gonna hold you accountable and that can hold you up and that you can ask questions to. You don't have to do this alone. Maybe you can get a friend or family member to do this along with you, that would be ideal. At the end of it, it's 10 days. You can do anything for 10 days, just suck it up. Trust me. Would I do this again? I don't think I would. If I did, I would probably try rice or oats or sweet potatoes. I wouldn't do the potato one again because I've done it. But I would also just keep it super simple. I wouldn't go with recipes and whatnot if I did. I would just really, really dumb it down to its bare core. Because I am curious about my weight and if I have drifted up like another five or 10 pounds heavier than I should be based on all my calculations, what I'm gonna do next is a smoothie cleanse. 
and I'm actually gearing up for that right now. So stay tuned. I'm going to have another video series about me going through that process. Thanks for checking this video series out. If you are doing a potato cleanse, I would love to know about it or any kind of Mary's Mini. Tell me in the comments, what kind of one are you doing? How is it going for you? What have you discovered? What are your tips and tricks? Where are you doing it from? Check in below, comment, like, share, do all those things and subscribe. Thanks, Forkers.